We do start off tonight with new details after a shooting outside of Soaky Mountain Water Park. We first brought you This is Breaking News last night. Today, we have learned one person died, another was injured. We're also getting a look at the woman police have now charged. Reporter Kristen Gallant has been working to learn more details all day long. She joins us now with the latest. Hi, Kristen. Elizabeth, all of this happened right after the park closed, but dozens of people were still in the parking lot. 31 year old Sarah Romine was arrested and charged with second degree murder and multiple counts of aggravated assault and possession of a firearm while intoxicated. 30 year old Joshua Daniels was also arrested and charged with having a firearm while intoxicated. As I mentioned earlier, Elizabeth, one person is dead. That's 24 year old Kelsey Cook, who was shot and airlifted to UT Medical Center, but then later died. We've reached out to several people over the course of the day who say they were there last night when all of this happened. None of them were willing to speak on camera, but all telling me it was a scary situation. SPD is still investigating what exactly happened here last night. As soon as we get that information, we will bring it to you guys. Reporting in Sevier County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. And we did also reach out to Soaky Mountain Water Park. The general manager, Dave Andrews, released this statement. I wanted to read it to you. It reads, quote, The Soaky Mountain management team is committed to our guests' safety, and we are deeply saddened by the events that occurred in our parking lot on Saturday evening after our water park closed. The Sevierville Police Department is overseeing this investigation, and we are fully cooperating with them. End quote.